you can go all the way up to 100 and wow that is what that is phenomenal Occasionally, I will have a corporate headshot or just a headshot in general where one of my clients may also wear glasses. Although this can uh, provide its own challenges when photographing someone with glasses, you can actually remove glare from glasses in camera and on set. It's easily done, but they may come a point where you are potentially in a rush and you didn't have enough time to actually set up your lights properly to remove the glare from the glasses and that is where you will then encounter a problem of glaring glasses and you may end up having to do a little bit more work but Evoto AI has recently released an update that claims to remove glare from glasses with just a push of a slider so that is what I'm going to be checking out today. Let's get straight into it. I've got this image loaded here onto the screen. Um, I've done a little bit of retouching on it, nothing crazy at the moment. So this is a shot of me. As you can see, I do have glasses on and in the top sort of left of the, the screen and just above my right and left eye, you can see a little bit of glare in the glasses there. So. Evoto AI glasses glare removal tool is a beta tool. So I'm assuming this will only get better over time. But if you are stuck and you didn't have the opportunity to actually do this manually in camera, then you can use something like this and hopefully help you uh, save that time that it will take to actually do this manually back in something like Photoshop. So this is where a program like Evoto AI will probably end up saving our bacon. So I've done a little bit of retouching in and I've come down now to where it says glasses, glare, beta we've come down. And I'm literally just gonna slide, start sliding this to the right. You can go all the way up to 100 and wow, that is, what? That is phenomenal. You can see slight traces of where the glare was, but wow, if you click the before and after, that is, wow, that is amazing. What can I say? That is phenomenal, how easily and how quick that was. And obviously you can, um, you know, move the sliders and check the, the, you know, the level of strength that you want like with anything um, when it comes to editing software you know there's always a, a slider or a limit that you can go to and then you can always pull it back in terms of your opacity so for this I think 100% is probably what's needed for if you're in a rush and you just wanted to remove glare in an instant this is perfect like if I go before and after before and after so yeah I'm super impressed uh, it's the first time trying out this actual bit of the software. I have used Evolta AI before. I actually use it on a couple of corporate client jobs where it enables me to actually shoot, edit, and deliver the same day, which is amazing. But yeah, I am super impressed with this software and what it can do um, in terms of removing glares from glasses if I was stuck in a scenario or a situation where I didn't do it in camera, I can always rely on this software to do it for me. If you'd like to see how you can actually photograph someone with glasses and remove any reflection in camera, I will put a link to a video right here which explains how to do that. But if you stop, Evoto AI can come to your rescue. If you'd like to try out Evoto AI, I'll put a link in the description as well where you can get some free credits to try it out for yourself. There's a lot more things that they've introduced into the software, which I'm gonna be taking a deeper look into in a later video. So if you'd like to see those, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified when those videos go live. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.